Hello everyone. How are you? This is a an, an impromptu video. I'm actually trying to log on on my computer quick so that I can read comments while we are unboxing. So let me log on here. Hello everyone. Oh, okay. How are you? Let me turn. This is a an, an impromptu video. There we go. Okay. I just wanted to pull up on my computer because I can't see it on my phone. So I'm recording on my phone um, and I have you guys up on my computer so you can ask me questions or we can just chit chat while we're going. Um, I got a silicone teething mean shipment in um, yesterday and then a part of it actually last week. So I thought how fun would it be if we just unboxed it together. Um, can somebody comment and let me know, can you hear me okay? I have this thing plugged into my phone um, that my husband gave me. He said the audio would be better. Um, let me know if you can hear me okay. We're going to get started. So this is actually a pretty small silicone teething bead shipment that I got in. And here on top we have some nylon cord. I had another box I already went through a little bit ago and then I thought it would be really fun to do this so I stopped going through um, and there was a ton of different nylon cord. So I already have opened a box with this in here. But the nylon cord is great for teething necklaces but you can use it for any type of necklace really. And I know in the last shipment that I opened I had the black, the white, the cream, the mint, the rainbow, the light blue, all of that already. So here's dark pink and gray couple of stragglers so that's awesome for teething beads awesome thank you so much good I'm happy you can hear me okay perfect <laughs> let me get I have a thousand post office totes I'm actually gonna grab one quick um, okay so I had to grab a post office tote so that as I'm going through I can put these in there um if you don't know my husband and I actually own two businesses we own this bead business and then he has his business which is a vinyl business um, and we actually have a physical store here in Colorado that he works at um, and so the post office here knows us very well because we ship a lot between our two businesses anyway they give him like thousands of these totes for me every week thousands might be excessive but um, I definitely have like a gigantic stack of totes and because that's what I use I put all my packages in there when I'm shipping Okay, so in the package that I already opened, there were already some clips too, and there's no, there's more clips. So I haven't carried some of these colors before. Um, I got in, I think, 200 of these white ones. I already put them in the drawer. But I also got a ton of new colors, so they'll be on later today. So there's clear clips. Those are awesome. I have not carried those in the past, and there's a ton of those in here in there that's super fun more clear clips um here's like an aqua turquoise color these are those clips awesome for pacifier binky rings and if anybody has any questions or comments or just wants to know more as i'm going through this go ahead and write them because i have my i have my macbook set up over here so that i can read as i'm going through here and we can chat um, okay here's more clips these are more new colors a light blue it's a baby blue really pretty ah, coming out that's okay they all go into drawers here so everything will be going into a drawer I can't remember if this shipment has a lot of pendants or not the teethers I hope so because those are kind of the most fun to look at um, and inventory but I have a lot of different shipments on the way so I saw some here on top and we'll get to those if I can get through these clips because um, that's fun so let's just keep going lots of clips so here's some letter the alphabet beads there's certain letters that I was running low on so I'm restocking those so you'll see a e i m or w depending which way you want to hold it l o um those are mostly vowels that we were running low on so there's that 
We have got the 14 millimeter and the 17 millimeter. As you can see, these are inspected. So all of our silicone teething beads are 100% BPA free, um, food grade silicone. And so every single bag has a safety inspection seal on it. You can see. Um, there's another one and another one. Super cool. So we have 14 millimeter, 17 millimeter of those hexagon teething beads. Really cute, really fun. Nine, the 19 millimeter have been extremely popular, so I've been selling out of these super, super quick. And here's sky blue and light blue. Got some peach hiding down in here and some lime. I've got, I'm trying to save the pendants for last, the teethers for last, because they're the cutest part, and I don't think there's any more in this shipment. There's just a handful that were on top. Here's a giant bag of purple. These are 19 millimeter silicone, BPA-free, food-grade silicone teething beads, and I was running short. Obviously, Halloween is on everybody's mind right now in the crafting world, and so the 19 millimeter purple have been selling like crazy. So I think that there's 300 of them in here. And I expect this to last about a week, hopefully. So that is what 300 purple 19 millimeter teething beads look like. Super cool. We have the 12 millimeter coral in the light pink. Olive. Olive is obviously extremely pretty right now. And, or pretty, I'm mean, always pretty, not just right now. Extremely in, I should say. Extremely in with fall. Here's some yellow. There's a lot of different shades of yellow, so you can choose from those. These are 17 millimeters. These are also 17 millimeter in mint and light aqua. So if you've been wondering what those look like in real life compared, this one's mint, which looks like winter green. If you buy any 20 millimeter, 12 millimeter beads from me, mint looks like winter green in other lines. And light aqua, super pretty. Those are the 17 millimeter. If you have never made teething jewelry, um, I actually have some in here because my daughter Taylor hangs out in here with me. This is what you use this for. So if you were wondering, this is well, one example of what you can use these silicone beads for. You can make, um, this is a binky holder. You can attach any kind of pacifier onto it. Super cool. And if you don't have a loop, that's what those clips are for. And I also have adapters because my daughter now doesn't like this kind. She likes the, I think they're called ma'am, mom, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure, but they don't, they don't have like the little loop that hangs off the end. Um, so the, there's different types of adapters that you can use. And we have all of that. So it's super cool. You can see that this one includes like a star. There's different sizes. We've got 12 and 15 millimeter. Here's a 14 millimeter hexagon. And one of those clips. So it's just super cool. That's what these are for. Um, we've got some more of those 17 millimeter hexagons. I've got some 15 millimeter black round ones that are trying to escape here. I'm going to set them there so they don't fill. White in 19 millimeter. Another one that sells really quickly. Red in 19 millimeter. The light or soft yellow 19 millimeter. I did a lot of 19 millimeter on this shipment because I have been running out. You can The colors that I've been pulling out of this box are a super good indication of what other people are using. So if you've been wondering what to buy, um, review this order while we're going through because these are the colors that I am the lowest on in my inventory at the current moment anyway. And I do have another box coming, so this is a part of the most popular colors. There's mint again in 15 millimeter, sky blue, yellow. Bust it open, I'm gonna set it over there this one I think that this one's called Royal it is a dark it's really pretty 15 millimeter some more 19 millimeter cream cream is super popular 
and we've got some more of the hexagon pink 17 some 15 some 15 then some 15 pink super popular let's see what teethers we have look at that mess for me to go through so we also have gotten here you can see my my stuff to put away there there's really not that many teethers i'm super bummed usually i get a box about twice that size full of teethers and i actually have a counter that i have to just kind of lay them all out on so that i can count in inventory and i just kind of do that as i go so that's kind of a bummer there's only three different kinds but they're super cute so we can look at those so here's the hamburger teether how cute is that? And you don't even have to put them on anything. So you can put them on the cord if you want and you can make a necklace. You don't have to put them with any beads. You could just put it on the cord or you can buy it and literally your baby can just chew on it. So my daughter has, she has a toy bucket here in the bead room and it has a silicone anchor in there. It has this cute little, it looks like a jug of milk. It's so cute. It looks like a little baby bottle jug of milk. That It's not even attached to anything. She loves it. I did make her... Well, I actually made a necklace for me to wear, um, but I don't wear it. I have attached it to her high chair, so it pulls down and up. And so sometimes when she's bored, when she's sitting in her high chair, she can grab it, and she likes to play with that too. So there's so many things you can do with these. These are really cute. Here's some little sprinkle cookies in brown and in pink. And that is it for this shipment. I wish that there had been more of the teethers in there for you guys to see because that's definitely the most exciting part. It's really fun. I have, I'm going to go grab just a handful of teethers that I already have. So let me grab just a couple. You can see them because they're so cute. on the other side of my room more some people riding <laughs> okay so these these didn't come in the shipment today but since I already went through the trouble of setting this up um, if you guys could even see how I have this camera rigged it's interesting my husband would laugh so <laughs> it's actually really funny but it was a lot of trouble so I'm gonna show you a couple more teething beads before I actually go and inventory all of this and put them in the drawers and where they go. So I showed you the hamburger. So here's the hamburger that came in the shipment today. And we also have fries, of course. <laughs> That's the best part. So these are ridiculously cute. They're super fun. My daughter has one of these too, and it's hilarious when she's gnawing on it. So it's really funny. Um, other things that are great for teethers, we have wood rings, natural wood. So obviously there's no chemical on it. These are great. They feel really good on the gums. Um, and this is just a sample of what we have. So here's a little car, lots of different colors. You can see the texture on there. That's what feels really good on the gums. Yeah, you do need to get some of these. They're so fun and there's so many different ways you can use them. Um, they're awesome. We have little bunnies, lots of different colors. You can see the texture on the other side. Super cool. Some kitties. I like the ones that have like cavities because babies have such a little hand. So my daughter loves these. She gets her fingers in them and she plays with them. And again, it has that texture. Feels good on the gums. Dinosaurs. We have these in lots of different colors. So cute. Has that cavity again. And of course the unicorn because unicorns are still the thing. And we have these in lots of different colors. So this is a white one texture on the back. Super fun. Super cute. I don't know if I already showed you. The whale cavity. And sometimes the cavity is the only way you can attach something to it. So this might be the only way that you hook that nylon cord in there. Super neat if you make something with it. 
But again, something like this would be awesome just to have the baby chomp on. And they're super easy to clean. So if you're thinking about buying these and making these and selling them, um, I don't know how everybody else cleans their bottles. For my baby, I soak the bottles in really hot water using a gentle dish soap. Um, you just throw it in there. And you can throw the whole thing in there. So like hers of these, because she does chew on these, I just throw the whole thing in the dishwasher. Or the dishwater, I should say. You could put it in the dishwasher too, actually. But just I let the whole thing go in there, and I let it really soak, rinse it off really good, and I put it on the bottle drying rack. Um, and that's a really good way to keep them clean, if you're wondering. Here's some Legos. We have these in lots of different colors. So there's extra texture on those. You have to be careful. The hole on this one's pretty small, but I have a YouTube video showing how to make these with a really, really awesome trick that I think I use wire. You can use wire or a paper clip. That makes it about 5 million times easier to get a hole through these little tiny things. So if you haven't <clears throat> watched that, definitely go watch it. Once I'm done with the video, I'll try to Leave it in the comment. I'll link to that video. It's one of our best videos actually on YouTube. Super cool. We have little biscuits. Might look like a little treat that you know of. Really cute. We do have them in black, so they're really neat. It has that, that texture. And earlier, if you watched, I was talking about different adapters because they were clips. This is that adapter I was talking about, so I just grabbed one. So if you know what I'm talking about, and I'm probably saying it wrong, it's, I think it's ma'am, mum, something like that. It's a, it's a brand of pacifier for a baby that doesn't have a thing that hangs off that you could attach to. It just has kind of the circle that's right by the lips, and this goes right around that circle, and then you attach here. So you would take and this string would go through here and attach here, and this is attached to the binky. My daughter actually, I have one of these with a clip like this attached to her car seat, so we always have one. Because when we're in the car, my older kids are convinced that she just, they just disappear in thin air when she's upset. So now it's attached to the car seat, so then they can retrieve it when she needs it. So that was one actually pretty small little unboxing, I guess, of silicone teething beads. I'm going to get this stuff added into the inventory now and including the nylon cord that you didn't see because I had already opened it before I got the idea to rig this situation up. So uh, I'm going to work on that right now. Um, any questions before I go? I see lots of fun comments. Did I redo the website? Jessica just asked if I redid the website. Um... I don't know if that was a comment on this video or if that's a message, but I'll answer it here. I did redo the website. Um, I worked on it last, well, in June. I redid it like a huge overhaul in June. And then this over the weekend, some of the tabs weren't working correctly. And our hosting team and our tech team could not figure it out. So the drop down menus weren't showing. So some products you just literally couldn't get to. And so... Um, I did over the weekend on Sunday, I think it was, that I did a little bit of work on the website and I kind of redid it. I hope to get back to the way that it was last week. Everything is still there though. So it's all the same. The layout is just a little bit different. Um, hopefully that answers that question. Um, any other questions before we go? Let me see. I don't think so. Well, thank you everybody for tuning in. I'll try to do more videos like these because they're really fun. Um, I'll try to do them on um, the teething because it's a little bit more interesting. My 20 millimeter bead shipments, they come in gigantic, heavy, 80, 90 pound boxes. And there's about 40 of the same exact bag of beads in there. So you would just hear me really out of shape lifting boxes <laughs> if we did a video of that. So um, that's it. That's um, a small silicone teething bead shipment. If you haven't made anything using silicone teething beads, go to our YouTube channel. I will link that in the comments. There's a couple of ideas and a couple of how-to tutorials there. So check that out. I am in my office, obviously, for the rest of the morning. I am packing and shipping. Our pickup hasn't come yet, so if there's anything you need, head to the website now, myprettyposhprincess.com. Make sure that you use code free shipping, one word, all capital, for U.S. orders, $50 or more. That does get you that free shipping. So thanks everyone for tuning in and have a really, really great Wednesday. Bye.